Hi, my name is Arzu Kumar. Um, I just graduated with a degree in neurobiology and economics with a minor in Spanish literature. Um, I will be starting medical school here in July. And I took Dr. Hartwell's class for five semesters altogether. I think my main focus or the one that I've been most interested in is the one related to vision. Um, so each semester we've done a different sense or a different um, aspect of learning. And the visual aspect was most interesting to me, um, especially with regards to peripherals and how quickly we are able to process information. And so last year, uh, one of the projects that I did, it presented two images. You were to see each image for less than a second, and then it would just flash, flash again. And you had to be able to distinguish whether or what changed in those images. An image would fly across the screen, um, and then it would be less than half a second and then you would be presented with two images that looked very very similar and you had to decide which of the two images went across the screen um and i think what i've learned so far from that is my experiments were a little bit too easy um so i thought of new experiments that i could do and how to grow those experiments in the future we use psychopie um i have no experience with coding really we've used a little bit in some of my economics classes but they're math problems essentially we just run regression models so nothing like this where i'm building a game and so the simplicity of the program but the diversity i think has been the most impressive thing um so the fact that even though it's a very simple program to use and formulate every single person comes up with a different experiment with a different way of approaching the problem some people were testing the same uh idea so we had quite a few students testing peripheral vision but every single person had their own type of experiment that they were doing Science isn't about finding an answer every single time. It's more so just working towards looking for the meaning of different things, the purpose of different things that happen on a daily basis and um, just enjoying it. We have discussions on what science was and how we learned it. And it was so valuable to see how each person's experiment uh, experience with science was different, whether they went to school here in Arizona or outside of Arizona, whether it was a public school, a private school. And I even interviewed a few friends who are homeschooled or were homeschooled up until high school and seeing how their experiences were different. I didn't even know that some of them had never experienced science so they didn't have the interest that I did um, with my classes. And I think that was probably one of the key things coming out of it. Like discussion is so important even in the science field because oftentimes it's just emphasized like you do your experiment, you read your textbooks, you memorize your answers, you take a test. That's all we repeat in math and science field. So I think the idea that discussion is just as important um, to grow in, in the STEM field is very important. Finding your curiosity uh, like you were when you were younger, you know, as kids, we always want to mix things or break them apart and see how it all fits together. I think this class does that. So I never found this class to be stressful. It was something I genuinely enjoyed and coming into it, it was uh, exciting. Like that's something fun that you're coming to enjoy and just experience science. If you're trying to figure out or get a better understanding of what's happening in your daily life, I think this is a fun way to experiment on that. Um, you might not be dissecting into someone's brain, but I think it does give you a realistic presentation of, um, you know, these are daily phenomena that happen and we don't recognize them because they're just so simple. Um, we all have these senses or we all have these abilities, but why and how do they differ um, is, really cool to find out uh, with the different experiments that we do.